All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Now, I know it's crazy. You can actually play any PC game you want on Steam. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually figure the whole thing out. Because trust me, it took me days to figure this out. And it's not easy, but you need an iPhone or Android and you need really good internet. No the specifics at all. I really don't know what specifics, but as you can see on my screen, I have the buttons. I have the mouse bar. I'm controlling the mouse right now for my iPad. You can see on the hand cam. Uh, maybe I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm controlling the mouse. Um, There's different type of buttons right there. There's mouse button two, mouse button one. You get the idea. You can basically do whatever you want. Right. So first, obviously, you're gonna have to download Steam on your PC, and you're gonna have to download Steam Link on your iPad or your Android. Now I'm gonna be leaving a link for both of them for Android and iOS for Steam Link in my description. Now I'm just gonna be showing you guys the settings that I have on Steam Link real quick. All right. Once you downloaded Steam on your PC and your iPad, Android, of course, you're not gonna see this whole thing right here. It's gonna tell you to connect your PC. You're not gonna see any of this at first. So first of all, you need to have Steam open on your PC so your iPad can actually detect your PC and can connect to it. So you just click on computer. I'll just hit rescan and then it's going to scan for a little bit and then it's going to find your computer. As you can see, there's a controller part. You're not going to be using that unless, of course, you're using a controller. Now I'm going to you're going to be going over to the streaming section and you're going to see all these options for video. Just copy all you see, play video on fast so you can get the best, like the minimum delay. Like you don't want any delay in your game. So just pick fast. Of course, there's balanced. There's beautiful and then there's disabled how you don't don't put on disabled you're gonna have audio have a stereo microphone disabled because i use my microphone on my computer but you can also use your microphone from your ipad so if you want to do that you can enable it um input i have enabled controller overlay disabled um and down here actually click to more and also please copy everything make sure you are on desktop launch or you're not going to be able to figure out your controls or whatever the bandwidth limit now it doesn't no don't copy this please this depends on your internet speed um i just have a really good internet speed so I, like i can just go lower it goes over way to i'm pretty sure three megabytes per second and then there's automatic i would recommend using automatic if you don't know how good your internet is just use automatic and it's gonna work fine but since i know mine and i know how fast it is and how good it is i could just go to up whatever i want now there's a frame rate limit you can obviously go all the way up to 144 and then there's automatic i i guess if you want it says recommended you can use it but i i am on 120 since my ipad actually can receive 120 fps my ipad has 120 frames per second so it should be should be fine with 120 fps solution please stay on 1080p you don't need more than that you don't need less than that just stay on 1920 by 1080 um i highly doubt you're gonna be playing a game on you know like 2k or 8k or 4k resolution so just stay on 1080p and more and finally the hevc video I have it disabled hardware decoding have it enabled uh uncompressed audio disabled and allow direct connection automatic now that we're done we can finally go into the juicy stuff on how to connect our keybinds from our game to Steam Link. All right, so just click on start playing and you're gonna see, gonna start connecting to your PC. Probably your screen probably turned black and there is a reason. I'm gonna just switch to my PC so I guess you can see better. All right, now that I switched to my PC, you guys can actually see the resolution changed on my monitor, which is fine. This only happens when you connect to Steam Link. Um, you can change it, of course. If you click here, you click NVIDIA control panel, it's gonna pop up. Just make sure to make it, just make sure to scroll all the way down to your resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. Um, click apply and you should be back to normal it should be fine and there we go we're back on our thing and then the first thing you're gonna need to do is open steam once you open steam you're gonna go to steam you're gonna go to settings and then you're gonna go to let's go first to remote play now you can change the settings also from your pc if you want um i have mine here as you can see it says clients option streaming it says fast and then there's other stuff here too hardware decoding i highly recommend turning this on it helps a lot so i'll just turn it on um copy this whole thing of course as so it's the same as in your app. I'm just saying if you want to do it from your PC, you're able to do that. And there's all this different type of stuff here. Just make sure you go here, enable hardware decoding, and then enable hardware decoding on NVIDIA GPU. Or there's also AMD and Intel GPU. So it depends on what GPU you have. You can also do that. Um, you can also choose to play the audio from the game to be on your iPad as well. Like I just mute my iPad because I really don't want it to be playing in my ear. So like I'm hearing it from my PC. Also click on it to change the stuff resolution to match streaming client and dynamically adjust it 
capture resolution to improve performance. All right, now that we're done with this section, here's the juicy stuff. We're going to be going to controller, clicking on guide button, cord configuration. And then there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you're wondering why I, am I seeing controller binds? Now, this is completely fine. Here's the thing. You see all this? This is my binds here, right here. Right click, right mouse, left mouse, R is for reloading for my game, for example. So let's say I want to like, I don't know, like M1. And it's going to tell you to choose a key bind. So you can actually have literally binds, bro. You can have it as logos if you want. You can have like, what? What was my G? G is like rolling. So like you can find something that resembles you throwing the gun, for example, in CS GO. If you want to throw a gun, I click on G or anything I have and it throws it. All right. Now, since it's actually G, I'm going to just click on G and right there, it's actually binded. Um, So it's just pretty simple. It depends on what game you're actually going to be playing. Just go all there, like all over here, bind it, make sure to bind left click, make sure to bind right mouse. And then when we go for the movement, this is where you actually need to pay attention because this is kind of annoying to deal with, but you're going to need to be doing on directional pad. This is at least what I play on. I see different people playing on something like controller thing, but I just make it on directional pad. And then you need to have your dead zone like around like 0.301. You can also figure that out on your um PC, as I said, just do it on your PC. You cannot do it from your phone or your Steam Link on your iPad, whatever. You just have to do it from your PC. Uh, so as I said, you have to click and actually bind it yourself. You click like W, click, click A, you're going to click D and then S, of course, for going backwards, front, left and right. And then there is additional settings. I have a, like I tested them. I really don't know what the outer ring is. So just I guess just leave it as it is. However, for the analog, I have it on point one to two for the analog emulation active percent. And if you the analog emulation pulse time, I have like zero, like zero, zero, zero. And this is it for the movement. You can still on your mouse. Um, This is the sensitivity. The sensitivity is actually kind of confusing as well. There's all these different type of modes you can use or settings, I guess, but I just copy mine. So you're fine first. You can do that later on. But for now, just copy these settings and then click on additional settings right here. These are also my setting. Now, make sure the most important thing is just the sensitivity itself. It might be too low, might be too high, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too bad for you. This is like mid range, it's like in between. So it's a point one eight one, and then I have for rotation point two one seven. Of course, you can change it always whatever you want. For friction vertical scale, I have it as 0.495, and then I have all these other options off. I have for sensitivity vertical, I have it 0 0.470, and for the edge spin radius. To be honest, I really don't know what this does. I tried it, and I didn't notice the difference, so I'm not sure what it does exactly. But I guess you can copy it. It's 0.763, and then finally the double tap. I don't know. I really don't use this and I don't use this thing. So I'll just leave them. And then, yeah, this is really it. But I'm going to show you how to put these buttons actually on your iPad. So you're actually able to play any game you want. I'll click OK. And then I'm going to switch back to my iPad. All right, boys. So now we're actually back on our iPad. And as you can see, I have Steam right there open for my PC. I can, you know, move it around. But this is not my binds. So here's the thing. Once you load up the game or once you load up Steam Link, you're not going to see your binds automatically. And you might be worried, but please don't worry. You're going to need to click on that button the white thing the white steam logo you're gonna need to click on it and then you see my whole binds just showed automatically but if you let go it's just gonna disappear again so just make sure to click on it and then click on the three buttons right there the three dots with the, the like the laptop mouse pad thing click on it and there we go you're on your key binds now i'm pretty sure it's gonna show you some different stuff but it doesn't matter just click on the thing go layout controls and there we go there's your buttons your binded buttons um you can move them whatever you want you can move them anywhere you want like let's say for example i want to have um r right here even though it was like right here and then you can also change the color you can make it transparent if you don't want to see it a little bit you know so that you cannot really see it that much yeah this is basically it man you can just it's really simple but it just took so long for someone to figure it out and um i finally did by myself it was definitely a struggle uh but i'm gonna just show you guys a couple games fortnite for example it actually works on fortnite which is crazy this is pretty much it man you're just gonna click cancel and from your pc you're actually gonna launch the game that you want for example let's say i'm gonna launch right now fortnite all right boys so as you can see i actually can move and you know i can build or whatever i yeah yeah you can build you can build and this fortnite is on not steam by the way even though steam link says that you actually need to play on um only steam games it's not true you can play any game you want however some games won't work now uh for example valorant i tried it the other day and it just did not work and it was really annoying um but yeah you can see i'm building here um i wouldn't say it's too bad it's just i'm not really 
good at the game right now and especially on ipad i'm just i don't have the buttons binded but yeah you can edit as well right here you get the point it works it works fine also just one more thing before i forgot to actually end the video um so you might see you're gonna have black screen and it might be like something like this and you might get annoyed from it um you can zoom in there's multiple ways you can fix this you can either zoom in or you can change the resolution in your game i just recommend zooming in it's you know it's way better just make sure when you click the three dots you click on it so you don't automatically like you know click on it by mistake and change the thing so it's actually there yeah it's i don't it's really not that bad man like and that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm sorry if it's a little bit long just the whole process is annoying and i really made it easy for you guys because trust me as i said this just took me days to figure it out and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one